everybody. I'm Cheryl Hamilton and today I want to show you a new fun fold that I discovered. It's called an arrow fold and it's just a beautiful way to show off your designer series paper. Isn't that neat? And um, just a plain inside but I love the way that this new paper looks. So stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. My card today is showcasing this gorgeous new designer series paper called expressions in ink and it's a specialty paper which means that it has something really nice in it that's um, usually some gold or something like that gold or silver and you can see the specks of gold in it um, I'll just show you some of the others this one's really beautiful Side of that's pretty too. Love this. And then there's a gold stripe. And this is probably my favorite piece because that's all I have left. <laughs> Don't you love it? The specialty papers um, cost about $2 more than regular designer series papers, but they're totally worth it. So I love this. So today we're making an arrow fold card. And, um, oops because of basically the way it points down like this. And I'll show you how to do this. Um, let me see, I'm just gonna start this card with um, a piece of Just Jade cardstock and I'm cutting it at eight and a half by five and a half, which is um, my standard way to my cards usually scoring right down the middle at four and a quarter okay and then I'm going to make some marks on my um, on my card now I, I need to hit see I'm gonna have like this arrow pointing to the center here so I want to mark the center down here on the five and a half edge at two and three quarters so I'll bring my grid paper up because I usually just use that and um, put it on the edge. And there's two and a half, two and three quarters. So I'll just put a little pencil mark down there. And then I want um, I want the fold to go along the sides there. So both these sides are going to be marked at two and one quarter. So let me see. There's two and a quarter. And then I want another one over on this side, two and a quarter. So you can use your um, paper trimmer or a ruler or your grid paper, something to help you make these marks. Um, now I'm ready to score it. So I'm gonna just use the score blade on my paper trimmer. And I'm gonna first score from here to the center. See my marks? There's one right there, and there's my set. Oops, there's my center mark. So to do that, I just place it in here and line it up with where this um, groove is that the blade goes in. So and you keep moving it till it's perfect. I hope you can see it. It's I know it's a little far away from you, but there's a mark right there and right up there. And um, don't use your, don't cut it, <laughs> use the score blade. And there you go, you can see I made a, a score. And now I'm gonna go the same place in the middle here, but I'm gonna go all the way up to where the card folds, to that score line. So just be patient, take your time, because you want this one to be as close to perfect as you can for it to line up really well. So that's what I'm doing on, both sides you can see those so now I'm going to do the other side and I think that I think the secret is just be patient and go slow and it's not hard at all you guys will love it it's very pretty um, so I'm lining up the part where I'm going to fold the card with the center Okay, so there's, that's what I've got. I think you guys can see all those. Okay, so when I fold it, 
I'm going to just fold, I'm folding it in first like that. So I'm just going to fold it in and burnish it with my bone folder. And then this is one thing I found is really helpful. You're going to bend the corner back, but instead of just doing it, you're really paying attention to the point of that arrow. And I like to set my bone folder right there when I'm folding it and then press that really so you have a sharp arrow. Okay, I think it makes a big difference because I did some of them and just, um, here, let me do the other side. And then I just folded them and saw how it worked and it didn't make as nice of a um, crisp fold there. So again, put your bone folder right there, set it down, and then um, you're gonna first burnish the point, okay, to get that nice and crisp. And then we're folding the card in half. That's my big tip, and that's about it, really. You've got your, isn't that neat? It's pretty easy. I'm just gonna erase that little pencil mark. Um, now I've cut my designer series paper four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I wanna mark the middle of it at two and five eighths along this five and a quarter inch side. So I'm going down two and one, two, three, four, five eighths is right there. You can see my mark right there. And um, this is one thing, it doesn't really matter too much on this design series paper, but if you have an up and down, you want it um, upside down when you're marking it, okay? Just try to remember that. Um, it, because we're cutting and it's gonna flip and it's gonna be this way. So when you're doing the little mark, have your design shears paper upside down. Okay, and now I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut from my center line down to the corner, and then from the center line down to the corner. So again, just place it on where that groove is right there. Get it as perfect as you can, and cut. Okay, so there's one of them, and then I'm gonna do the same thing, go from the center line down to the other corner. Okay, and now you can see, there's my card. I'm gonna turn it around, which it flips it, and glue it on here. There you go. And these, oh, it doesn't have a design on the other side. You can flip them over and stick them under here. Did it on this one. So I must have used some other, grabbed some other paper. Oh, this is different. Um, anyway, you can flip it over, but I don't recommend it when it's just white on the other side. I'm gonna use this paper. And just, Put it right on the edge. Just trying to mat make the borders um, look good, look even. Okay. To help your fold stay put, I like to put a little stamp and seal right on in between these two score lines. And then it just helps it stay shut better. To finish off my card, I found a sentiment from Elegantly Said. It's on page 69 of your new catalog, the big catalog, and it's just got these beautiful fonts and um, really nice sentiments. So I'm just grabbing a thank you and polished pink, which is a new in color, and stamping on a little um, 
layering circle circle <laughs> and the gold foil sheet I cut out of ornate frames dies which are aren't those gorgeous you should take a look at those dies because those are really neat and I'm just gonna glue it on with some Tombow and I'm gonna pop up my thank you with a dimensional Okay, and that's it. Isn't that a pretty card? It's really the paper that does it. But I hope you try this fun fold. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Aloha.